Well, there's uh, two areas of my research that um, I hope are helping. Uh, the one is um, doing a study in, in children with uh, obesity, and this is led by Dr. Catherine Morrison, who's looking at the, the metabolic complications of obesity and how those may be um, uh, changed or benefited by uh, intervention program that we use at McMaster University in the Children's Exercise and Nutrition Center. And my part of that is to look at bone health in the children because there's a great disparity as to whether being overweight actually is good for your bones or bad for your bones. And if you lose weight, what happens to your bones? And I'm a bone researcher and I care about children developing healthy bones. So that's one way that we can put those two areas together. The other area of my research is looking at the early determinants of obesity. So we are studying uh, a birth cohort group. We, we um, recruit the mums in pregnancy and we follow the mum and her partner and uh, another child as well as the infant once he's born. And we are looking for markers, biological markers, uh, socio-environmental uh, markers that will give us the first clues that uh, a child may be going down the wrong path in terms of a healthy weight. We've now recruited over 700 families. We're just looking for to recruit another 300. And we hope that the results of this study will help us to determine at an early stage who's going to be at risk so that we can then develop interventions even as far back in pregnancy or pre-pregnancy to help mothers get into a better healthy state that will not metabolically program their child to be at risk for obesity. So that's, that's probably a longer term uh, um, involvement because we will follow the children until they're five or even more years. But we hope that'll be give the clinicians and health professionals in the future some uh, guidelines of how to detect those at risk. I think governments need to step up to the plate because they can meet uh, the needs of the greatest number of people. And, and there, whether it's government at the level of the policy setters, uh, guidelines for good nutrition, guidelines for physical activity, or at the school level where there is, they can have some controls over, uh, again, the food, the amount of physical activity children get, the stimulation, just the education of our children about healthy weights, uh, I, I think is in, incredibly important in the short term. In the long term, I think there are many things that are starting to be uh, considered, uh, such as different ways to educate people about nutrient density of foods, as we call uh, nutrition profiling or nutrient profiling. And I've been at several sessions at scientific meetings in Canada and the US, um, where this is being, and in Britain, where it's been, how do we better label foods so that they're consumer friendly and people understand what they're eating, what is some, uh, the nutrient density of food, what that means. I, I think parents need to realize that we've got, there's emerging evidence that uh, even how a baby is forming in utero can metabolically program and in other words set up his metabolism so that he might be at risk and we it's not just enough to at five years say oh I think my child is a little bit overweight I better do something you need to think about giving your baby the best start in life and uh, following the guidelines for a healthy pregnancy a healthy weight uh, of the family uh, particularly the mother um, and those first foods and the first years of activity um, are really incredibly important to how a child develops their eating habits and their exercise habits to uh, keep uh, obesity and overweight at bay.